Hello again. Thank you for coming back to listen. Today's sermon is going to be very, very short, and if I were to entitle it, it would be Where the Power Lies. Your belief become your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your values, and your values become your destiny. That was a quote that from Mahatma Gandhi, I hope, but with the internet you can never trust its validity. I'm certain you've all heard this quote, or something like it, as you've made your way through life. But even if it wasn't Gandhi that said it, the statement still has a very powerful meaning. The things in your soul you will eventually have to deal with in your flesh. Please note that words become actions, habits, values, destiny. And at some point, you will have to experience the scripture, reap what you sow. That's Second Corinthians 2, 9, verse 6. I have recently been taught a lesson about words, curses spoken into life through words, word curses, and unrighteous judgments. In the scriptures, there are several statements that say, the tongue can build up or tear down. That's my personal paraphrase. Those scriptures that I chose are James 3.10 and 1 Peter 3.10. Now, there are a little less than 140 in total, but these two, I think, were enough. Now, you might be asking yourself, or me, how is it possible? How is it possible that our tongue, what we say, can build up or tear down somebody? The answer is very simple. Creative powers. When God created us, he gave us the same power of verbal fabrication that he has. And that is those things we speak can come into being. Now, as I said in one of my last sermons, now granted, if what we say doesn't line up with his plan, then, it won't, then it's not going to happen. But when our words line up with what his, what his plan is, these event, the events that we speak will come to pass. I was trying to make clear that if we speak presumptuously, Deuteronomy 18 verse 20, the thing we speak will not happen. The Lord is operating a plan we cannot see, as I've said before. And as his children working to fulfill his will on this planet, he must limit our power to assure that his plan will come to pass. Now, when we do speak and the end result falls into his plan, he'll cause it to happen and he'll get the glory. Which is what we're supposed to be striving for anyway, right? I know it's kind of an odd place to end a sermon, but... It's all I really wanted to share. So in that I say, keep living. Keep laughing, keep loving, and as always, keep looking up.